Ay, boy. I apologize. I'm, I'm looking at my text on my phone because it's the only smallest thing that I can fit on this, what you cannot see, very crowded um, soundstage that we've got set up here. So um, this week's Torah portion, Baalot Techa, uh, includes one of my go-to pieces of Torah. I, I use it at least probably once a day, the section that's in here. And, um, and I think it, uh, it comes at a good time for us. And so the scene is, you know, the Israelites have left the, the, uh, the oppression and the slavery in Egypt. They've made it out. They've gotten away. Um, they've actually been on a few adventures at this point, quite a few adventures. And um, the the and they're they're getting themselves like sort of aligned to recreate themselves to um, try to understand themselves a little bit better in terms of what their mission in the world is. Right? They're like they're designing a whole new uh, spiritual civilization, and they're sorting all of that out, and they're figuring out how to build their sacred places and how to. Uh, you know, conduct their sacred rituals and whatnot. And we get this moment um, in chapter 9 that says um, that there would, um, there would, they had built this place, this special place for, for worship and for gathering, and a cloud would cover it. Um, it would cover the whole place. Everything was covered by this cloud. And it would stay there um, until fire came in the morning. And so it was this way. The cloud covered it, and, um, and you could sort of see this light uh, burning uh, beyond the cloud at night. And then when the cloud was lifted up, um, they could go. Um, the, the children of Israel could journey, and, and wherever the cloud was, they should camp. So this idea of that sometimes this cloud comes and it stops us. It says, you know, not unlike the way that Binya beautifully um, described Shabbat for this week. Like sometimes something comes and says, you need to stop right now. You need to sit right here in this place and just be. Stop moving. Stop doing. Just be. And that's hard enough, right? I mean, how many people who have been invited by this sacred text, if you will, by God itself to stop one day a week, just stop and be with the world exactly as it is. And that might break your heart. Then be brokenhearted. Or it might delight you, then be delighted. But be in it as it is without any desire to change it or shape it or mess around with it because you need to you need to ingest it you need to absorb what is whether you like it or you don't like it whether it's right or wrong but if you don't stop and acknowledge what it is then you have no hope of getting out of that cloud and what i am stuck on this week is how many of us have been in the cloud, felt stuck, maybe frustrated, uncomfortable. And then the cloud lifted, and we did nothing. The cloud lifted, and we went nowhere. We did not journey forth, because when the cloud lifts, my friends, we are supposed to journey forth. That's when we're supposed to move. But how many of us have sat in the cloud and got really used to the world as it is, have gotten really used to not being able to see beyond the haze, have trained ourselves to not see beyond the haze, and then the cloud lifts and we stay in denial and we don't move and we don't journey and we don't accept the incredible responsibility during that clear time to shape the world into righteousness. To root out the brokenness and the 
disease that our world is filled with. Instead, we stay in our little imagined bubble of cloud and go nowhere and do nothing. Well, the cloud is lifted, my friends. The cloud is up. And if we don't move now, I don't know how much longer Hashem is going to be patient with us. And it's Shabbat. And this is, this is a Shabbat I bless us with, I hope, of some, some little stretch of time where we stop and really see. And just as Binya said, it may not be about singing and dancing this Shabbat. It may not be that perfect world that we're imagining. Maybe we have to let in the truly broken world so that tomorrow when the cloud lifts, we have some sense of how to go forward and not remain in this paralyzed state. Now, there's a lot of directions and there's plenty of work to be done. And there are so many tasks that need hands. And just like building the tabernacle, it wasn't all building uh, with wood. It wasn't all crafting with gold. It wasn't all compounding incense. It wasn't all getting ready for the sacrifices. It was all of those things, and each person had their one piece that they could come forward and contribute, and it took every single person whose heart was willing to make that place where we could all gather and we could draw down holy energy amongst us and then spread it forth through our lives. So each of us has, has something to give. I guarantee you that. Every single one of us, every single life has a gift to give while you're here. So please, it's Shabbos. Take a little time to go inside to find out what it is that you've got. Maybe it's a poem. Maybe it's your body. Maybe it's your money. Maybe it's your heart. Maybe it's your ears. Maybe it's your eyes, your toes. I don't know what it is. You got to figure that out. But each of us has something to do. Each of us has a role to play in bringing about a healing in this world. There are so many broken pieces. And right now, if it is not obvious to you, then, uh, then uh, I don't know what to say. It should be very obvious right now that you have to do something. Get out of the cloud. It's lifting. It's lifted. You have this little sliver of Shabbat. Amen. Take it. And then tomorrow, let's go. Boots on. Starting to move. Let's bring about the healing. Let's bring about a healing so that someday, not too far in the future, we have a Shabbat where we are all singing and dancing together, okay? Shabbat comes every single week. Every week we get that chance to reassess figure out what's the next step every single week that little cloud of rest comes upon us and every single week it rises up so let's have this be an incredibly beautiful amazing fantastically uncomfortable shabbat no comfort this shabbat let's writhe this shabbat but let's find that peace of reality that we can weep over, that we can grieve, and that we can heal. Because we can do this. Clouds up. Time's up. Time to move. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.